Hello and welcome to tutorial 174 in this series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the centered moving average. And the way that this works is we calculate, or at least my interpretation of it, is we calculate simple moving average and then we displace it a number of bars back. So, for example, in this case, we have a length of five and you'll see that the simple moving average has been displaced back by two bars. You'll notice that we have a problem though, because the last two bars do not have a moving average. So in this tutorial, we're also going to be looking at one way of estimating the centered moving average for these two bars. But the idea behind the centered moving average is that for the center bar, the information is taken from bars to the right and bars to the left, as the name might imply. So let's have a look at the program. And uh, firstly, the, uh, the very easy bit, what we're doing is displacing the moving average. And we can do that in the plot statement just by using these square brackets like we have here. Now, the uh, half av length, as I've called it, is equal to the round of length divided by two uh, zero decimal places and as type integer. So for example, round 11 divided by two zero as type integer actually equals six. So it rounds it up. So for a five, a length of five, in the example I was just showing, that would come out as three. We would take three minus one is equal to two, and then we'd displace back by two bars. And you can see that's exactly what we're doing here. But what we really need to do is estimate the missing values, or not the missing values, because that's the definition of the thing, but basically so we can have a moving average for those two bars at the end. So let's first of all go into the studies and I'm going to change the input to actually display what I've done. Set that to true. And then you'll see that we start getting these estimates plotted in green. And essentially what we're doing is because we need five bars and because we're centering it, that uh, for this bar here, we need two to the right, two to the left. We don't have two to the right. So what we do is we just add in another uh, close value and we keep on doing that as the bars increase. As new bars form though, of course, we can then calculate the actual moving uh, centered moving average and displace it. So the very last value of the uh, estimate will be left on the chart. So let's have a look at the estimate and how it works. So first of all, it has to be on the last bar on chart and plot estimate must be true. Plot estimate being the input that I just changed a second ago. And then for that, we go control, which is just a counter, equals one to half half length minus one. So let's, in our example, half half length is equal to three. In other words, length round length two to the zero places as type integer. And that comes out as three. And we take one off, that's two. So we've got a counter of one to two. And what we do is the sum is the sum summation of C for the length, but we take off the counter. So when counter is equal to one, we're going C length five minus one length C for a length of four. So we're missing one value, but we replace that with the close. So if it's counter of one, we just multiply the close by one. And then when counter equals two, we'd, be, we'd say summation of C five minus two. So we're now going over only three bars, but we add two times the close to add those or estimate those missing values. And then we calculate the average dividing the sum by the length, but we also must displace it with uh, half length minus one minus the counter. So when the counter is equal to one, half length we've said is three, take away one is two, take away one means that we just go back one bar. And when the uh, counter is equal to two, then this value here is gonna be zero. So we're gonna do it on the last bar. So that's how that, uh, that works. 
and you'll see that for longer lengths you clearly get the longer estimate and uh, what happens again is that it leaves the last value of the estimate so you will see some of the estimate values on the chart as things progress as more bars form so anyway hopefully this is useful to you uh, if you're interested in this sort of stuff please subscribe to this video channel and also go to m a r k b l e x dot com and join the markplex email list and i'll let you know when i create new tutorials quick tips programs etc so thank you very much for watching Thank you.